Hey, this is Russ. Now, you might have wondered what happened on Tuesday and why we didn't have a knee replacement video. And we had another video talking about how we would be getting good videos going forward. <laughs> I needed a space to put it in, so I figured I'd put it in there since uh, uh, the week before I talked about the fact that I was pretty much done with my knee replacement stuff. So... Uh, so I stuck it in there, but we are not done talking about the knee, as I promised that we will continue talking about knee replacement issues, even though it might not be my particular knee, <laughs> all right? So today, I just wanted to bring up um, a couple of things for you guys. Now, if you're new to knee replacement, you might know that you got to go to physical therapy. You might not want to go, <laughs> because you know that if you go to physical therapy, it's nothing but pain. It is. I'm not kidding. Every time I went to physical therapy... Um, I knew I needed to go, but I really didn't want to go because I knew it was I was in for a lot of pain. Okay, but let me tell you this: that physical therapy is necessary. All right, um, you might know that I had torn meniscuses uh, before I went in for my total knee replacement, and I had uh, both knees scoped out uh, about five years apart from each other. So the first time I had my knees scoped out was for my left knee, and that's the operated knee for the total knee replacement. Uh, I went through physical therapy for that, and uh, I think I think after about 28 days or something like that, I was pretty much back to where I should have been. Yeah, and that was all because of the work at physical therapy. So five years later, I get my right knee done, and um, doctor asks me, he says, okay, now that you've got this scoped out, let's set up physical therapy. And I said, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> He says, are you sure? I go, yeah, I know exactly what they're going to ask me to do. I remember exactly all the exercises they asked me to do. I'll just do that at home. I don't need them. He goes, are you sure? I go, yeah, I don't need it. So, okay. So, uh, yeah, that right knee took forever. <laughs> and it really had nothing to do with the knee. It was all because I didn't push myself the way they push you at physical therapy. I did the exercises, okay? It's not like I didn't. I just didn't do it the way they would have pushed me to do it. If nobody's watching you do it, <laughs> you're going to do less. It's true. So here's what I'm going to tell you. If, if you're new to knee replacements and you, you're regretting, uh, regretting going to physical therapy, you have to go to physical therapy. All right. I, I, I really wonder sometimes, you know, when the pandemic hit, how everybody who was part of that, who needed physical therapy, how are you able to do it on your own? Because I know a lot of them had uh, telemedicine where you know you call in and they, they, you talk, they talk you through it. But that's not the same as some guy physically pushing on your knee. Or you know, Some of us didn't get our knees pushed. I, I had mine pushed. That's not the same as somebody doing that if you're on your phone, okay? So I'm telling you right now, if you're new and you don't want to go to physical therapy, you got to go to physical therapy. All right, and go as often as you can. All right, I did it 80 times. All right, which is a lot. Okay, but um, now physical therapy guys are going to be pushing on you, um, and they're going to be telling you to do exercises. And if you're hurting, you know, and I'm, I guarantee you, you are hurting. I know you are because I did. Um, there's going to come to a point where you're you're not moving anywhere further than what what you currently had. So no matter what these guys do, your range of motion seems to be stuck at one point. And, and you're just hurting like crazy. I mean, your, your knee is swelling and everything like that. That's, I think, the time when you can ask them to say, hey, you know, maybe we should take a couple of days break. You know, let, let, let's see if it uh, just needs a little time to heal on its own. I really do kind of feel that sometimes we push it so much that uh, it doesn't have a chance to heal, heal on its own. Because uh, I know that when I took a little bit of break, there was a break between December and January. Um, uh, I was going through a change in insurance companies and um, not insurance company, the, the, the people who um, who approve your physical therapy, you know, these guys, they, they changed to a different approval company. And so that that pushed me back an extra week. And and that week that I was off, when I went back, I actually had better uh, range of motion. <laughs> so the knee just needed a little bit of time to say, oh, I've got a breather. I can take it easy a little bit. Uh, I can recoup a little bit. Okay. And then we went back and pushed hard again and we got more range of motion. So uh, there might come to that point where maybe taking that little bit of time off to let it uh, kind of reheal itself from all the hard pushing might actually help you more. Okay. So I'm not saying that everyone, you know, that this is what should happen. I'm just saying 
uh, go to your physical therapist and ask him, what if we took a couple of extra days off? Um, you know, I'm talking about if you've been going for like a month or two, uh, nonstop, okay, and just being stressed for that much time. Maybe it's time to take a little little break, then come back and do it again, okay? The worst thing I think you could do is take a break and don't come back and do anything. Then then it could be, that could be bad, okay? So I'm, I'm just saying taking a couple of days off here and there uh, sometimes is not a bad idea, all right? Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Just kind of bring up this thing. Uh, I know I've talked about it before in the past. A lot of the stuff we're going to talk about is things that I've talked about before in the past. But I think it's good still to review those things. And if again, like I said, if you're new, it's new to you. So, And if you haven't seen any of the old Russ is Right videos, uh, these things will be new to you. So still worth talking about again. All right. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching the videos and keep watching for your knee replacement videos, which you'll typically do it on Tuesdays and Fridays, okay? And if for some reason I miss one week and it just uh, happens on a Friday or something like that, uh, that we get the knee video, then so be it. Um, because uh, now I'm not talking so much about just my knee, but just knees in general. So we may we have a week or two that, you know, maybe it'll be a one week thing. But I try my best still twice a week, all right, Tuesdays and Fridays. And if you're uh, into the biking videos, watch the biking videos too, because uh, I'm, I'm using the biking really to rehab my knee too. So it's, it's a dual thing. I like doing the biking, but I also know that it's giving me the exercise. And eventually one day you're gonna need to do those exercises too. And you might not wanna be on the bike, but you know, if you have a exercise bike at home or a recumbent bike at home, exercise recumbent bike, um, you should be on that. In fact, when it comes up to this uh, uh, holidays, when we're getting towards uh, Christmas time, I'll, I'll be working on the recumbent bike because I'm, I'm not going out riding <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> uh, but to keep my knees moving and keep my, uh, my legs going, I'll be on that recumbent bike more. So, all right. Talk to you guys next time.